Alright guys, I really want to get to talking about this, so let's just get right to it. Battlefield Hardline, the beta. As some of you may know, the open beta for Battlefield Hardline was last week. Holy shit. Anyway guys, so the Battlefield Hardline beta came with three game modes. One of them is the classic conquest mode, which fucking incredible. I love me a conquest round. The second one is heist, and the third one is hotwire. Now us Battlefield fans, we all know the classic conquest mode. Capture and hold objectives on the map in a very large scale 64 player warfare if you're playing on a next gen or PC, but Heist and Hotwire, these two new game modes offer some seriously fun variety to the Battlefield games. In Heist, you're either robbers breaking into a bank and into a vault and trying to steal the money, or you can play on the cop side and you'll be breaching your way through the front door trying to fucking blow through the corridors to try and stop the criminals. It's freaking amazing. It's so much fun. And Hotwire. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so for this game, basically the entire driving mechanics have been redone from the ground up. It's, it's pretty fantastic. It's really fun driving in this game. In all the other Battlefield games I've played, it was kind of cumbersome and not really that fun to drive, but in Hardline, you can just speed down shit and just fucking ram into another guy's car. You can be in the side of the car and lean out and freaking shoot out. Oh, it's such a rush. It's so awesome to pop off a headshot on a guy driving a car behind you. As a result, his car hits a freaking gas truck that are just placed on the map randomly, and they both just blow to hell. Now that is a battlefield moment. But this is just the beta, so it does have a few bugs. I did notice changes every day, though. There are only a few weapons in the beta. There are going to be a bunch more in the full release, so don't you guys worry. But the weapons in the beta were really fun, specifically the RO-933 my favorite carbine rifle in the game. I think it was one of the only two weapons I used for most of it. Otherwise, I used the sniper rifle because sniping in this game is a lot more fun than it used to be in other Battlefield games. It just feels faster, a lot more just hard hitting, like it's just, it's a lot more fast paced, it's a lot, there's a lot more going on at once. Now a lot of people have complained that since it's a cops and robbers style game that it's not gonna be as, that's not gonna feel like a battlefield game as much, it feels like a battlefield game, but it's not all good. The biggest gripe that I really had, well really the only gripe, but it is a, it is a big gripe to me. The basic destruction in the levels is, is not really there. I'm not sure if the destruction's just been turned down for the beta, I would really like to have the ability to punch a hole through a wall with a grenade launcher. That's classic battlefield tradition. Sure, there are a lot of cool little things like shooting the right pillar and it'll make the street above collapse, but it's all scripted stuff. If I'm pinned down behind cover and three guys are shooting at me from the second floor of a building, I want to be able to get up from behind cover with a grenade launcher and take out that freaking wall and blow those guys to hell. But you guys, trust me, this beta got me excited for the game's full release on March 17th. That is if it doesn't get pushed back again. So all in all, I'm going to give the Battlefield Hardline beta a 7 out of 10. Pretty damn good. I say 7 out of 10 because destruction, it really is a big thing to me in Battlefield games, so that lowers the score a little bit. And I also want to save a portion of the score for how the single player player campaign is going to affect it. Because I hear Visceral are bringing a lot of new things to the table in the single player campaign and I really can't wait to see that. So if you guys played the beta, did you like it? Did you not? Let me know. Subscribe. Thanks for watching and like down there. You know, you know, the, you know the drill. See you guys in the next one.